Hey everyone, it's Cray. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm doing the 6 fan arts challenge which I saw um, Wolfie Chu and Jordan do it so I thought why not, let's do it. I put a post up on my Instagram and I asked people to give me some characters and then I would draw them for this challenge and the most liked ones are the ones that I used, well apart from the ones that I didn't know the characters of. So the first one of course because my fan base is a bunch of weebs, I have Miku. So I really love Miku, she's a pop idol singer, diva, everyone loves her. I've drawn her quite a lot when I was younger but that was her different design with the one where she has like a grey vest instead of the white one she has now. So I had to reference a little bit for this but yeah apart from that I didn't have too much trouble drawing her. I remember the first song that I came across which was sung by Hatsune Miku was World Is Mine and it was the live version and I think everybody has seen that version before and that like blew my mind when my friend showed it to me she was like oh cry have you heard of this this anime girl she's real she's real and I was like oh my god anime is coming to life but nah it was Miku but still it was great um and after that I went down a very deep dark hole of Vocaloid including all the really cute like songs like Romeo and Cinderella and Electric Angel and then all the really dark ones like stuff made by Kukuo and like that kind of stuff but it's all great and I really love Vocaloid so you can see um, my recent video was an Utao cover because I was so inspired by Vocaloid I was like I've got to make her Utaoloid now but basically Miku turned me into a massive weeaboo and I've never looked back so great uh, okay so the next person that people chose was Princess Bubblegum and yeah, my Adventure Time has always been like a very big childhood thing for me. I've followed it since the beginning, but I kind of dipped off when it started like having tons and tons of seasons, it was a bit much. But I still really love it and I still love Princess Bubblegum and Marceline's relationship the most, I think. That was the first lesbian relationship I had shipped super, super hard. I was, oh, they're just so perfect for each other, you know? Um, so yeah, I didn't have much trouble um, drawing Princess Bubblegum, her design is really simple. I think all the Adventure Time designs generally obviously are made simple so they can be easily animated. So it wasn't too hard to make her into an anime girl in my anime style, so yay! Okay, so the next one was Opal. She wasn't the most popular, I think, in the Instagram post where I asked people to comment down the characters in. but. I had to draw her because she is the giant woman and she's so, oh, she's so pretty. Like, she's the prettiest fusion. I think she's my second favourite after Sugalite, I think, because Sugalite is just a big badass. I think everyone can agree and she's voiced by Nicki Minaj, so of course I have to love Sugalite. But I do really love Opal as well. She was the first fusion, as everyone knows, and she was just, when I, when I remember, when I first saw her fusion come out. I was just so mind blown, I had to pause the video and I was just so shocked. She was so beautiful. Um, so yeah, I did a pretty quick sketch of this, like all the all the fan arts I'm doing right now are pretty quick. But I hope I did her justice, showing that she's the most beautiful, largest gem woman known to man. And the next one is Lugosi. I really like Beastars, I haven't finished it. Um, but I did read the manga first and then when the Netflix adaptation came out I started watching Netflix um, anime adaptation but I had I had was I was pretty much caught up to the manga like way before the anime adaptation started and I really I really loved the um, Lugosi like he's just such a good boy and he's just trying he's just trying really hard but I think in that series my favorite character is Haru just because she's so confident and so like, you know, it's refreshing to see an anime character who actually kind of stands up for herself because a lot of them don't and it's, it really annoys me. I really like strong characters, so yeah. And also she, she's a thought, great, I love that too. Okay. And so, Sans, of course, someone recommended me Sans and of course it got loads of likes, so of course I'm doing Sans. Um, Undertale had a massive impact on me, I freaking loved Undertale when it came out and I watched 
I think I watched the Jacksepticeye playthrough of it first, and then everyone else who did a playthrough of it, I also watched. I think I, I watched Cry's Cryotics one as well. I watched that, and Sans was obviously an amazing character. Toby Fox is an amazing storyteller. That was it was so good. I remember I cried so hard at the end. I think everybody loves Sans. Everyone knows why Sans is so great from the hundreds and millions of Sans fan girls that are sitting around still after Undertale came out like what I don't know like seven years ago. I don't know how long it came out ago, but but it's still popular. So so you can see how great it is. Okay. And so the last character that I drew is Toph Bei Fong. So I had watched Avatar when I was in like year eight, when I first met my friends in school and they were freaking obsessed with Avatar The Last Airbender. And I was like, oh, I gotta go find out what this is about. So I watched it illegally online and whatever, but it was so good and I loved it so much. And then I watched Korra um, and then I forgot about it for a really long time. But I remember Toph was always my favorite character, <clears throat> apart from Zuko. And who else? No, no. No, Toph and Zuko are definitely my favourites. And then um, recently Netflix put it up on their their program list, so I decided to watch it again and I fell in love with it again. I literally finished re-watching it about three days ago and so when someone recommended me Toph, I was like, hell yeah, I'm gonna draw her. She's awesome and strong. My idol, I wish. She's amazing. And then she's even more like amazing in The Legend of Korra where she's such a badass. Just an old granny who will beat your ass up. So she's she's really cool. Um, so yeah, I think that's all I have for this video. So thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video whenever I find the time to animate because my school has started again and I have an exam in July. So yeah, let's just hope I'll keep drawing. Okay, thank you, see you, bye.